So the, uh, as uh, Zakane had just told us, we should, as the people of Yah, we should be happy. We should have the Ahava of Yah. There should be a bubbling within our life. Hallelujah. Because we as a people of Yah, especially us here, we are without an excuse. We are without an excuse. Because from this pulpit, we have heard the truth over the years. I've talked to those out there, those that I have gone to school with. And, you know, they get about this age that I am now, and in their 40s, and they're all in these religious churches. And then through that conversation by me talking with them, it makes me more appreciative unto y'all because they have nothing. They have nothing. They're empty. They have the elementary things. And we here as the people of y'all, and those of you that are listening online, that have been listening for a while, you have heard the truth from this podium, from this community here. And we as the people, we are without an excuse. We are without an excuse. They are sad out there. They're sad. There are men out there, they're not feeding the people at all. They're not feeding them nothing. The things that they talk about, their conversation, is elementary things. Things that we were taught years ago. Things that Yah has given us years ago. Our little ones, our bangs here know more than this religious world out here today. Hallelujah. And as I begin this message... We are Barak as a people of Yah. We are Barak. We have no need to allow Satan to snare us. Hallelujah. We are Barak as a people. We are truly Barak. We have no excuse. For we have been given the total truth. It hasn't been washed down. Hallelujah. It hasn't been tampered with. It's been straightforward. It's been straightforward. Whether we have liked it. Hallelujah. Whether we have fought against it. We have been given the truth here. We have, as a people of Yah, been given the truth. Hallelujah. We have not been taken by these, these foxes out here, yes. these wicked men yes. that are feeding the people. Hallelujah. They're feeding the people puff. It has no substance. Hallelujah. It has no meat. There is no judgment. They are snaring the people today. These mega churches. Hallelujah. And I looked that up just trying to get an idea of how many mega churches there is out there. From the Harvard Dictionary, whatever thing it is. And it says about 1,700. Can you imagine that? 1,700 mega churches. And these are the ones that their attendance, not just 2,000 members, but those that attend. 2,000 attendants. Can you imagine that? That's just in this country. Hallelujah. That's a lot of people. You do the math. That's a lot of people. And they're not giving them nothing. There's no judgment. They're snared. And what is a snare? A snare is a, it's a trap. They are trapping the people today. They're, they're, it says, what is a snare? Something by which we are entangled. The people today out there, they are entangled. You look at the hustle and bustle of this world today. Even a small city like, like Charlotte that's growing rapidly. Everybody's in a hustle and bustle. They're going. They got to go here. They got to go here. They got to go there. Their money is spent before they even make it. They can't even find a way out. So we as the people of y'all, we have no excuse. Y'all has barocked us here. And those of you that are listening online, you are barock. For y'all to lead you to this truth, to hear this type of truth. Whether you want to receive it or not. We are barock people here. We have no excuse. We have no excuse to be snared. We have no excuse. 
And what is a snare? Something deceptively uh, attractive. Deceptively yeah. attractive. I like that. It grabs our mind. Yeah. Like it takes hold of our mind, of our nephesh. Yeah. And we can't pull away from it. Yeah. It holds us yeah. as a people. It holds us in bondage. Yeah. We can't break or lose. Right, the things that are in our land, the things that we don't do right before y'all, it's a snare unto us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It, and most of all, it impedes us as a people. Yeah, we can't grow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can't draw nigh unto y'all. We can't move up. Right. All these years we stay in the same place. That's we still right. do our same things. Yeah. There is no change. Hallelujah. And that's what this snare does unto us. That's what it does unto us. You should be able to look back and see some kind of progression. Weekly, daily, hourly, monthly. Hallelujah. And that's what's happening to the people of y'all. But we have no excuse here. I can understand out there in the world, but we have no excuse. It's just our sin, our wickedness. It's our wickedness. And we need to humble ourselves and get upon our knees and ask y'all to help us. Hallelujah. That's what we need as a people of y'all. To humble ourselves. We're being impeded by our wickedness, by our sins. Hallelujah. We are as a people of y'all. We're being impeded. We're, we're entangled. And we need to untangle ourselves and allow y'all to move upon our lives, to help us. We need that help. I know I do. We need that help. We may think we don't as a people because we live this way. We need the help. We're no better than them out there. It's just the mercies of Yah that has allowed his mercies. It's nothing like the mercies of Yah. You think back. We should always ask Yah, Yah, take me back. Take me back over Yahweh where you found me. Take me back. And that will destroy that high-mindedness. Take me back, y'all. Take me back. And that keeps you humble. You won't get arrogant then. If you always keep in mind where y'all brought you from. Hallelujah. We must stand. We must stand. With, they're, they're, we, we must fight against these entanglements. That keeps us from being... Mighty soldiers, mighty ox, mighty coats of y'all. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My first scripture here, I'm going to uh, right. 2 Timothy 2 and 4. It says, no man that wars. Are we warring today because this is y'all? Yes. Or are we giving in to our flesh? Oh, are we warring today? Yes. It says, no man wars. No man that wars entangle himself himself with the affairs of this life that he may please y'all who has chosen you has chosen me has chosen us to be a soldier what is a soldier one that stands one that goes to battle one that's willing hallelujah one that he tells it oh satan come on because i know this is of y'all i know this is y'all so y'all's trying me y'all's testing me Hallelujah. I'm not going to be snared. Come on. That's what a soldier is. He's willingly. He's willingly ready to fight this battle of y'all. Hallelujah. He's willingly. And it says here. It says. What, what is one of the greatest traps. Among the people of y'all. And I talked about it earlier. I may repeat myself. I may get ahead of myself. But that's all right. The word of Yah is a repeat. Line upon line. Precept upon precept. Here a little and there a little. So if I repeat myself, that's all right. It says stir up your pure mind. By what? By way of remembrance. Hallelujah. And when you stir something, you, you stir it. It's a repeat, right? It's a repeat. So you get those ingredients, huh? You may have too much salt on this side. Too much of, 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 of this on that side. Too much pepperique right here. But then when you stir it, hallelujah, when you stir it, it stirs up that pure mind. They get those ingredients all in there together. Hallelujah. And then when you taste it, you say, mm-mm-mm, so good, so tough. 
Hallelujah. So I may repeat myself. That's all right tonight. Hallelujah. Total y'all. Hallelujah. So I may repeat myself. I may get ahead of myself, but it's still a word of y'all. Hallelujah. It's still a word of y'all. Hallelujah. It says, for among my people are found wicked men. Wicked men. They lay wait. Hallelujah. As he that set snares. They set a trap. And they catch men. Is that not what these, these wicked men today are doing? Huh? They're setting a snare for the people. As we heard Sabbaths ago, maybe two, about the gold. How, they, how they're fooling these people to buy, to invest in that. Hallelujah. When they should be investing in the Torah of Yah. Something that's going to keep them. Hallelujah. Something that Almighty Yah, he will supply their needs. Not the gold or the silver. We've heard that. Hallelujah. These are wicked men. They don't, they don't care about the people. Only thing they care about is another dollar. Another dollar. Feeding their fat guts. Hallelujah. Driving their cars. Laying around in their houses. They don't care nothing about the people. You let those same people go and, and ask for money for bills or something of that sort. Huh? They won't even touch them. They got to go through a board. Deacons. So many deacons in these big churches. So many uh, 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 pastors under the pastor. It's a mess. And they're taking the people to hell. By the millions. By the thousands. And these people, they can't see that. Why can't they see? Because they're wicked. Because they're wicked. And that's what they want. As you'll see as I proceed in this message. That's what they want. Because they see the glamour, the silver, the, the shiny things. They, they want that. Hallelujah. And these men... They're taking advantage of it. And that's Jeremiah 5 and 26. But I'm, I'm going to read the rest of that. It says, for among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set snares. They set a trap and they catch men. And it goes on to say, Jeremiah 5 and 27, as a cage is full of birds, so are these houses. They're full of deceit. Therefore, they have become waxing rich, full of deceit. It say they are waxing fat, they shine. Yes, they overpad the deeds of the evil. They judge not. You see that right there? They judge not. See, that's what the people want. They have itching ears. They judge not. They don't want no judgment. They don't want no one to tell them they're wrong. That's why they fall off from here. That's why they fall off. Because the judgment, when the judgment start coming, then you don't hear from them no more. Yeah. Hallelujah. You don't hear from them. We as a people, we should not be snared. We have no excuse. We have no excuse. But that's why they fall off. That's why they're snared. Because they don't want truth. They don't want to hear no truth. You know, because then that's going to mess up their little honey hole. That's going to go against the things that they want to do. They don't want to serve Almighty Yah. When you talk to people and they begin to hear your conversation, you can tell immediately, like, this man is crazy. Because the men out there are not giving them nothing. So when they hear this kind of truth coming from one that truly Ahava Yah, they're gone. They're gone. You don't hear from them. They don't want to talk with you. They look at you sideways like, what in the world? Because they're not used to hearing it. Hallelujah. It says, they judge not. Not the cause the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. Because, and it says, and the judgment of the needy, they do not judge. And it goes on. It says, Jeremiah 5 and 29, it says, shall I not visit for these things? You see, Almighty Yah? It says, Yah, shall not my soul be avenged as on such a nation as this? A terrible and horrible thing is committed in the land. Do we hear Almighty Yah? A terrible and horrible thing is committed in the land. And it says, the prophets prophesy falsely. They prophesy falsely. They tell the people what they want to hear for another dollar. They don't tell the people their sins. They don't tell the people to get their heart right. They don't tell the people what this book is saying. They take this book and they twist it. 
Hallelujah. They take this book and they twist it to appease the people. And the people are snared out here today. That's how they're snared. These wicked men today. It says, and the Kohen Beru by their means. They do it by their means. Not by the means of y'all. They do it because what they want to do. Hallelujah. That's what they're doing it for. For their means. That they may gain. Hallelujah. That they may gain. That they may produce more. More people. More membership. More money in their pockets. Hallelujah. And it says, and my people love to have it. Love to have it so. And what will you do in the end thereof? It says, if, if the sinners, if, if, if the Kodesh shall scarcely make it, yes. hallelujah, hallelujah. where shall the sinners yes. and the young Kodesh appear? Yes. So we are without an excuse. Yes. Let us not be snared, people of y'all. Yes. We have heard the truth. Yes. Hallelujah. Yah has given us the truth. Yes. A small group of people, but Yah is, is giving yes. us the truth. Yes. We are the jewels of his crown. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He will reveal his secrets unto us. Yes. And us only. Only his people. Yes. Those that are striving. Those that are set apart. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those that have the true hub of Yah. That truly want yes. to live yes. and walk and do right. Yes. Hallelujah. That's who Yah is dealing with today. He's dealing with his people. Those that truly are by him. Hallelujah. And the only way we as the people of Yah, the only way that we can escape the terror of Yah is by his Torah. That's the only way we can escape. It says you can't go around him. You can't go under him. You definitely can't go over him. We must come in at the straight gate. We must come in at the, straight, yeah. at the straight gate. That's the only way we as a people of y'all can escape. Yeah. I'm going to move to uh, Proverbs 13 and 14. Right. Proverbs 13 and 14. It says, the Torah yeah. of the wise is a fountain of life on, huh? to depart from the snares of death. Oh, the Torah of the, of the wise. On, huh? Hallelujah. That's how we escape this fountain of death yes. and turmoil and the things that's going to come upon this old land. Uh, by this Torah, by being in this Torah, eating it, living it, walking it. Hallelujah. Not trying to get by, being true, being real. That's how we are going to escape. Hallelujah. By the Torah, that's the only way we can escape. Allowing this Torah to, to dwell within us. Hallelujah. To allow this Torah to to correct our vision. Yeah. We see things correctly. Yeah. Right. We see things Kodash. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's the only way. That we have the eyes of Yah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Total Yah. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go to uh, Galatians. 5 and 1. Yeah. And see what Saul commands us to do. As the people of Yah. In the Torah, yes. so that we are not snared. Yes. Galatians 5 and 1. It says, Stand fast, therefore, yes, we must. in the liberty. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You see, they are entrapped out there. Sure it is. It's a ritual. Tell the truth. They're dead. There's nothing in it. They go for 30 minutes or so. The preacher gets up and does his little thing. Yes. And that's it. There's no liberty in that. They can't get up and shout and, 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 and give y'all praise. That's why they look at us strange. Hallelujah. That's why they say, no, you, you ain't supposed to do that. You ain't supposed to sing. Because it goes against their, their rituals. Hallelujah. It goes against that. It's not the norm. Because they're entrapped. They're snared. Because it's the norm out there. And so when they see someone else or another group of people that want to totally... Surrender unto Yah, to praise Him, to serve Him, the way that this book says do it. Then we're crazy. We don't know what's going on. See, they don't have liberty, but we as the people of Yah, we have liberty to praise Yah and to clap 
Hallelujah. The Gibeon told out. We can dance. We can sing. <coughs> Hallelujah. We don't have to worry about that. We're not in bondage. We have free liberty. Hallelujah. We have free liberty. Hallelujah. It says, stand fast, therefore, in liberty, wherewith Yahshua HaMashiach has made us free. We are free. And it says, and be not entangled, held in a snare. It says, be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says, be not entangled again. Not just entangled physically, but entangled in your mind. We can be sitting here and still be entangled. Hallelujah. We can still be disgruntled. Hallelujah. We can still murmur and complain. Hallelujah. We can still be entangled. It's possible. We have done it. We've seen it here. We've seen those that have lived here. They was entangled with the things of the world. It was grabbing hold of them. And they couldn't shake it. Because they wasn't given unto this Torah. Right. So Yah's warning us not to be snared. Yeah. Tell us not to be entangled. That's right. That's right. To be real. Yeah. To walk upright. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. To be open. Yeah. To confess. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 To be a true people of Yah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's an entanglement. Yeah. If we don't do those things. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says... Hallelujah. Right. <laughs> Yeshua HaMashiach were again entangled, Capernaum. There went, overcome the latter end. Yes. Okay. What was I? Galatians? <clears throat> Five and one. Okay. All moving to 2 Peter 2 and 20. Hallelujah. For I told y'all tonight. Hallelujah. For another day he has given me, another day he has, he has brought me down the road, brought me back home. Unto his people. Hallelujah. Another night of fellowship. Another night that he has given us. Hallelujah. From one cat they met unto another. He's watched over us. He's given us a chance tonight. Hallelujah. He's brought us back into his, his place. Hallelujah. Yes, he has. A lot of people didn't, didn't make it back. A lot of people went on last week. Hallelujah. But he's brought us from one cafe amen to another. That we may gather as a people in his name. Hallelujah. To hear the word of Yah. To allow our lips to be washed and cleansed in our minds. Hallelujah. Another night he has given us to gather his name. To be a people. Hallelujah. My heart is grateful. And we should be grateful too. We take those things for granted. We, we, we cannot allow this to become as a ritual, yeah. like the world. Yeah. That's why I said earlier, allow y'all to, to take us back, to take us back where he found us. Yeah. And this thing, it'll be sincere unto yeah. us. Hallelujah. Yeah. Just think back sometimes. Think back where y'all brought you from. Yeah. I do it, I'm driving. I think yeah. back. Yeah. And I told him, I'll buy. Yeah. I look back. Yeah. It's, been, it's, it's been a long road. Yeah. And he's brought me a long way. And so has he brought you. He's brought you a long way. You think about some of the ways how you acted. Hallelujah. Your meanness. Your grumpiness. Hallelujah. Your quick temperedness. Hallelujah. I think about those things. As I was a young man. My ways. How y'all cleansed him. Quick tempered. Different things. That he's washed me from. Hallelujah. You can think on the same thing. Things he has changed in you. Yes. Hallelujah. Those snares that he has washed away. That he has wiped away. And then when your heart is sincere, you, you don't even notice. You say, man, I don't even do that anymore. And then that's when you totally get, give y'all, told all y'all, why I don't act that way no more. I don't think that way no more. I don't respond that way no more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the second Peter. 2 and 20, I think that's where I was. <clears throat> Y'all has made us free. We can't go back. Can't go back into that bondage. It says, because if we do go back into that bondage, 
you know, we have put our hands to this truth. Yeah. Yah, through Hamashiach, has opened our eyes up to this truth. You can say what you will or say what you may. Yes. You have put your hands to this plow. You have put your hands to this plow. Yah has revealed himself unto us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You all hear me. Yah has revealed himself unto us. And you can say what you want. But he has told, he has given us the truth. Second Peter 2 and 20 says, For if after you have escaped the pollution of this world, through the knowledge of the master and savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, and if you, and if they are again entangled oh, yes. therein mm -hmm. and overcome that and overcome yes. the latter end oh, is worse with them yes. than the beginning yes. why is it worse oh. because we have put our hands to this plow yes. and we know the truth yes. hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. It, it, the Torah also said it had been better mm -hmm. that you have not known so you put your hands in this plow yeah. and you allow a snare to pull you back. On, uh, it's going to be worse yes, because you know now. Yeah. You know now. It's been revealed unto you. Yeah. There is no escaping now. It's going to be worse. Sure You're going to try to drown it out with different things. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not going to work. Right. You're going to be worse than what you was. Yeah. It's better that you have not, had not known than to know yeah. and to turn back. Then to turn back. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What are some of the things that, that snare us yeah. as a people of y'all? What are they? What are some of the things, Kedushan? We know what they are. Yeah. We know our ways that's, that's not pleasing before y'all. We know them. Hallelujah. Yeah. Psalms 9 and 16. It says, Yahweh is known by the judgment sure. which he executes. It says, the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. So Yah is known by judgment. But the wicked, they have no judgment. That's why they are snared. Because there is no judgment in the churches today. None. They have no judgment. It's just you go, you have a little ceremony, and you're out. They go back and do the same thing that they done before church. There is no conviction. And Yah, is, he, gives us, he gives us conviction. Hallelujah. His judgment convicts us. Because he's given us the truth. If you're not convicted, then something is wrong. Because we've heard the truth. We hear the truth. Hallelujah. But we shun it as a people. We shun it. And we make excuses. We make excuses. It's okay. That's all right. Y'all understands. No, y'all only thing y'all understand is what it says in his word. His no means no. And his yea means yea. There's no in between. Hallelujah. There's no in between. There's no lukewarm. It says that he will, what? Spew you out. Spew us out. He will spew us out of his mouth. There is no in-between. So Yah is known by his judgment. Yes, he is. And that's how the people, the wicked ones are snared. Mm -hmm. They're snared by the works of his own hands, sure. his own mouth, running his, doing his own thing, yes. his own works. Yes. Not the works of Yah, but his own works. Yes. And we need to do the works of Yah. We need to do what his word said, what the Torah says. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what we must do as the people of Yah. Yes. We must do it or we're going to be snared. Yes. Hallelujah. Because the wicked, the wicked lay their own snares. They lay their own snares. Psalm 64 and 5. It says they, the wicked, they encourage themselves in evil matter. Have we been guilty of that condition of y'all? Have we had our little camaraderies? Hallelujah. We had our little group. Yes. And we have uh, justified their wrongdoings. We've had our, our so-called buddies or whatever you may call it. 
And it says, they encourage themselves in every evil matter. And they commune. They commune of laying snares secretly. They say, who shall see them? Who shall see us? Has that not been going on? Does that not go on? Have we not, are we not guilty of that? Who's going to see us? Who's going to see us? These are snares. These things will snare you if we're not open and honest. We can't commune with one or the other. No, we got to say, no, Ark, you're wrong. No, Coke, you're wrong. That's wickedness. That's not the Torah of y'all. We can't do it that way. That's a true friend. That's a true friend that, that don't want to be snared by fellowshipping with someone that's, that's doing wickedly. Tell you, no, you're wrong. You, no, we can't go that route. That's not right. I'm working for my nephew's shit. That's wrong. You're wrong. Hallelujah. And we, it says, let me see. We serve these idols of our mind. Our sneakiness. Things we do. These snares. We serve these things. We don't allow y'all to, to go in and chop it up and say, y'all, get this out of me. We serve these idols. We serve these idols for the greed of our belly. Hallelujah. For the greed of our flesh. These are snares. They're not pleasing before y'all. We can think what we want to think. These are idols. Because we take a chance on our nephews for these idols, these hidden idols in our mind, the things that we do. These are idols. We put them before Yah. Instead of putting the Torah, we put these things before Yah. We have no excuse as a people, I'm telling you. We have heard the truth. We have no excuse. It says, we serve the idol of our mind. It says, okay, Psalms 106 and 36. It says, and they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Which was a snare unto them. The idols of their mind. It's a snare unto us. That's why we got to strive to have the, the mind of Yahshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. That's what we must strive for. To have the mind of Yahshua HaMashiach. Because if we don't, this world is going to take us. Yes. Suddenly. Say, so he said, come in as a thief in the night. And if we're not prepared, we're in trouble as a people. Hallelujah. 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 One of the main things that, that snares us. Proverbs 6 and 2. 6 and 2 Proverbs. It says, You, me, we, yes. we are snared yes. with what? Uh, with the words of our mouth. Yes, you are taken with the words of your mouth. I am taken with the words of my yes, mouth. Ye, complaining, That's murmuring, right. regardless of That's what beautiful. situation y'all has put us in. Where there may be situation within our bodies, situation within our lives. We can be snared by that. Just something that simple. Murmuring, complaining. Why me, y'all? Hallelujah. And we don't realize that the people that we serve in Almighty Yah. He made us. He knows exactly what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. But see, that snare in our mind. We think we know more than y'all. Y'all knows exactly what he's doing. Every situation. I can speak on my own. I can look back. I can look back and see what y'all is doing in me. I can see what he's doing in me. Taking me through what he's taking me through. I know it's y'all. And I have no problem with it. I tell him all the time, y'all, give me strength to stand. That's all I want. I'm all right. Just give me strength to stand. And we all should say the same thing. Help me, y'all. Give me strength to stand. It's okay. 
And really, I don't pray for myself. You know, I pray for, for those that are truly going through. Because we ain't going through nothing. That's who our prayer should be for, for those that are truly going through. To hell with us. We're all right. We should be praying for those that, that are truly going through. Huh? We ain't going through nothing here. We're not going through a thing here. We're not going through a thing. I don't care what it is. We should pray for those that are truly going through. That's at the beginning of their trial. Hallelujah. We're not going through nothing. We can play all we want. We can murmur and, and, and be mama boys and, 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 and mama girls all we want. We ain't going through nothing. We're not. But that's who we should pray for, one or the other. The conditions that are truly suffering, that don't have food, those things. Hallelujah. That's what we should pray for. We all right. We all right. That's the true heart of y'all. That you forget about yourself and you pray for your heart or your coat. Hallelujah. And then it takes your mind off really what you're going through. Because you got your mind on your heart or your coat. Y'all help him. Y'all help her. Hallelujah. That's the true of of Yah. What did Hamashiach do? He said, Yah, forgive them. He was concerned about his situation when he was on the cross. He said, Yah, forgive them. They know not what they do. Hallelujah. He said, forgive them, Yah. They know not what they do. And that's the heart that we should have. The hell with us. That's strength. Hallelujah. And that's what I pray. That's strength. That's the heart of Yah. That's the mind of Yah. That's what we should pray. Pray for one or the other. Hallelujah. Pray for one or the other. That's the Hava of Yah. Say what you will of me. That's the Hava of Yah. I know what I'm saying. That's the Hava of Yah. That's the Hava of Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of the most powerful snares. It says in Proverbs 12 and 12. It says, the wicked desires the net of the evil. The evil men. It says, the wicked desires the net of evil men. That's when you know you're, you're already snared. That's when you know something is not right in you. When you're out here amongst this world and you desire that. We've had those that have lived here. I know what I'm saying. I've been here since day one. I know what I'm saying. I rode with them. And they would say, oh man, that's it, that's it there. A race car, a truck, a Mustang. That's life, my friend. But they desired that. It was pulling at it. It's because their heart was wicked. It says the wicked desires the net. They want to be pulled in. Hallelujah. They want that type of life. They turn their back on y'all. They're snared. Their minds are snared. Hallelujah. That's why they desire to be in that net. They, they want to be in that. Hallelujah. And nothing we can do can change them. You're talking, you're witnessing, it's not going to help. You're wasting your time. They desire that. It says the wicked desires the net of evil men. It says, but the root of the Kodesh yield fruit. The root, what is our root? The word of Yah, the Torah. Hallelujah. And we're rooted and grounded in this Torah. We're rooted and grounded in Yah. It says the root of the codex, it yields fruit. Yeah. As I was saying earlier, when you're rooted and grounded in this, yes. you forget about your situation. You pray for your Aka or Colt. Yeah. You're kind. You're sweet. Yeah. And it says with all that lies within you, you strive to live peaceably yeah. with one or the other. Yes. That's the fruit of when we are rooted and grounded in this Torah. Or we're rooted and grounded in Yah. Hallelujah. It says... The fruit, but the root of the righteous, the Kodesh, yes. yields fruit. Good it says, Proverbs 12 and 13, it says, The wicked oh. is snared That's what it said. by the transgression of his lips. 
It says, but the just, the Kodesh, those that are striving to please Yah, shall come out of trouble. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Shall come out of trouble. Yeah. Shall come out of trouble. Yeah. I mean, Yah is watching over his people. It says the just, the Kodesh, shall come out of trouble. Hallelujah. Y'all's going to bring us out. He's not going to allow us to be snared. Hallelujah. He's not going to allow us to be snared if our hearts are sincere. If we're doing what his Torah says, if we're striving to please him. He said we shall come out. He's going to have a secret hiding place for us. He's going to watch over his people. Hallelujah. He says they shall, they shall come out. It says, John, going to John here. First John 3 and 4. It says, whosoever commits sin also commits iniquity. It says, for sin is a transgression of the Torah. And a transgression, it, it is a snare unto you. It's a snare. It's, it's a snare and it's a transgression against the Torah. Hallelujah. It's against the Torah. It's a transgression. Sin. Evilness. Our ways does not please him before y'all. It's a transgression. It's iniquity. It says it right here. Proverbs 12 and 13. I mean, 1 John 3 and 4. Here's another powerful snare here. It says, Proverbs 18 and 7. It says, uh, a fool's mouth is his destruction. And who is a fool? It says, a fool's mouth is his destruction. And what does the Torah say? It says, anger rests in the bosom of a fool. Hallelujah. So that lets you know. Anger rests in the bosom of a fool. And it says, and his lips are the snare of his nephesh. He's always angry. Hallelujah. He's always huffing and puffing. At least little thing you say to him. You go in this, de this defensive mode. Now, come on, Ah, What's wrong with you? That's a snare unto you. You're so quickly angry, especially if, if someone's saying something unto you. Then if it's about someone else, then it's okay. But then when it's it's brought right to you, immediately. You, you can see it. You can see it like, what's wrong? That's a snare. You can't go to the kingdom of Yah that way. This is anger. It's anger. It says here, I'm going to Proverbs 22 and 5. It says, It says, thorns and snares are in the way of the fraud. A fraud people. They're not slow to speak. Hallelujah. They're not quick to hear. They're quick to respond. It's a powerful snare. It's one of the most powerful snares. Because everybody wants to talk. No one wants to listen. No one, every, every, everyone... They want to avoid this scripture. Be quick to hear. Slow to speak. Everyone wants to talk. Everyone wants to talk. Nobody wants to just, just listen. Always got to respond. Hallelujah. Always got to respond. Just can't listen. No patience. Quick to respond. It says, thorns and snares are in the way of the forward. And who are the forward? The perverse ones. They got to say something. Got to show what they know. Sure. Got to talk. Sure. That's a snare. Yeah. Well, we should be listening. Sure. We should be listening. Listening to what? The Ruah. Yeah. If, you, if we're listening to the Ruah, then we know when to speak. Yeah. That's Hallelujah. We know when to speak. Yeah. And how to speak. And we know what to say. But see, we're so quick to hear, I mean, quick to speak, we can't hear. 
We can't even hear y'all saying, just shut your mouth, son. Just listen. Listen to the Ruah. You're in the presence of elders. Now, just, just shut your mouth. Huh? That's how we are. We don't listen. That scripture is just not talking about just listening. Huh? Physically. It's talking about listening spiritually. Listening to the Ruah of Yah. So you know when to shut your mouth. When to be quiet. That's a snare unto us. That's one of the biggest things. One of the most powerful snares there is. Running our mouths. Don't want to listen. We need to listen to Yah. Listen to the Ruah. Be quick to hear. Hear the Ruah of Yah. Slow to speak. Hallelujah. That's what we need. That's what I need. I need it. And he that guards his nephesh shall be far from them. Far from who? The perverse. Those that are always running their mouths. Huh? Those that don't want to hear nobody. Those that are not even listening to y'all. That's a snare. Always got to talk. Always got to have something to say. Show their spirituality. And they know nothing. We know nothing. We need to listen to y'all. That's a snare to us. That's a snare. This flesh is getting in the way. It exhausts the flesh, the talking. That's all it is. It exalts this flesh. Nobody wants to listen. That's what this is. Hallelujah. Here's another snare here. 22, Proverbs 22 and 24. 22 and 24. There's something here that would snare you like nothing else could do of y'all. And we as a people, we should learn this pattern. We, we should stay away from this. It says, make no friends with an angry man. And with the furious man, you should not go. What is an angry man? I said it earlier. This is a repeat. It's a repeat. I'm stirring. I'm stirring. This is a repeat. It says, it says, uh, make no friends with an angry man. What is an angry man? It's a fool. It's a foolish man. It says, make no friends with the, with the, with the foolish man. Hallelujah. Yes, Foolishly talking. Always running his mouth. Can't tell him nothing. Quick to speak. Yes. It says, and with the furious man, you shall not go. Yes. It says here in Proverbs 22 and 5, it says, 22 and 25, I'm sorry. Least you learn his ways. Oh. Hallelujah. Yes. It says, least you learn his ways. He says, separate yourself. Yes, come on. Shun him. It says, least you learn his ways and get a snare to your nephesh. Oh, yeah. Least you learn his ways. Yes, Those corrupt ways. Sure. It'll take you under two. Yes. Have we not seen that here? Yes. Those that really, you know, was really struggling and they get around someone that, yes. that's complaining, murmuring. Mm, and next thing you know, it drags them on out. Turn, they turn their back on Yah. Hallelujah. And Yah's in control. He, he knows. But it happens. It happened because they didn't guard their nephesh. They didn't do as I said earlier. They didn't have any judgment. They was in cahoot. They was entangled. Hallelujah. They didn't tell them, no, shut your mouth. You're wrong. You have no facts. You can't back that up. Yes. Shut your mouth. What about you? Yes. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've seen that. Hallelujah. Yes. It's Proverbs 29 and 6. It's 29 and 6. It says, In the transgression of an evil man, there is a snare. It says, there's a snare. It says, but the Kodash does sing and rejoice. Hallelujah. Are we Kodash tonight, conditions of Yah? Hallelujah. 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 It says, does sing and rejoice. Hallelujah. Does sing and rejoice. Like those crazy people. To email and says singing yes. and praising y'all is wrong. Yes. 
Because their minds are snared. That's wrong. It's right here. It says Proverbs 29 and 6. But the Kodash does sing and rejoice. Hallelujah. But we're in a time condition of y'all. Evil times. And we must be aware. We must be aware of this old lamb and what's taking place. We must be. It says, I'm going to Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. We're in evil times. Men have been snared. People have been snared. It says in Ecclesiastes 9 and 12, it says, For a man also knows not his time. Hallelujah. As the fishes that are taken in the evil net. And as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of man snared in the evil time. Ah, yeah. Do we not see that today? Yeah. These people are snared, yeah. as I said earlier. They know not the time. They can't even see. That's all right. Their minds are snared. They can't see at all. And it's going to come upon them suddenly. It says, when it falls suddenly upon them. It says here, all right, I'm going to Luke now. Luke uh, 21 and 34. Hallelujah. Yeah. This is, uh, this is Yah- Yahshua speaking here. Luke 21 and 34. It says, and this is where we miss it. It says, it says, and take heed to yourselves. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. If we take heed to ourselves, yeah. then we, no, no one would have to correct us because we're constantly correcting ourselves. Right. We're constantly govern, governing everything that we're doing, yeah. every word we're saying. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. We're guarding our minds from these snares if we take heed unto ourselves. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says, take heed unto yourself. At least at any time, your hearts, my heart, be overcharged with gluttony. What's gluttony? Mm -hmm. What can our hearts be overcharged with? What is gluttony? Mm -hmm. The things of this world. The things I talked about earlier. I'm stirring again. The things I talked about earlier. huh? Things of this world. The shiny things. The filthy lucre. Mm -hmm. The food. The houses. Hallelujah. The gluttony. The things that we, we lust for in our mind. If I could just get that. I want this. I want that. Mine's a snare. Far from y'all. Let me read that again. It said, and take heed to yourselves. Lisa, at any time your hearts be overcharged with gluttony and drunkenness and the cares of this life. Hallelujah. And so that the day of Yah comes upon you, comes upon me suddenly. Suddenly, because this is of Yah. That's why we should always be on guard. Always stand within this Torah. Even in our minds, praying during the day. That we be not overtaken. That it not sneak up upon us. That we're we're focusing on the things we see. And those things, they snare us. In our minds, we're not even thinking about y'all because we're too busy focusing on that. Focusing on the things of the world. It's gluttony. They're miserable out there. That's why they keep on... They need this, they need that. They're never satisfied. The flesh is never satisfied. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says, and drunkenness and the cares of this life. Yeah. And so that the day of Yah, the day of Yah comes upon you suddenly. Goes on, I'm going on to Luke 25, 21 and 35, the, the, next, the next verse. It says, for as a snare. Ah. Did we hear that? It says, for as a snare. Yeah. We're not focused. For as a snare, that's the only way it's going to snare us. We're not focused. They say, for as a snare, snare shall it come on them that dwell on the face of the whole old land. As a snare. It's going to sneak up on them. It's going to sneak up on us if, if we're not vigilant about the things of Yah. Being prayed up. Hallelujah. Stand upon our knees. Being serious about the things of Yah. Hallelujah. Wanting to change. Wanting to see our ways that, that will corrupt. Yes. And we can see 
we can look back and see that. And wanting to change. Wanting to change those corrupt things. Hallelujah. You got to hate them. That's the only way. You can't say, well, I'll be all right. No, you, you got to hate it with a passion. You got to show y'all that, that you're sincere and you, you want those things to be changed. Hallelujah. It's, gotta, it's going to take some crying out for us that we be not snared, that we change those things that will snare us. It's going to take that condition of y'all. We think it's not, but it is. Why you think y'all take us through certain things? To get us to another level. That's why. That's why he, he takes us through certain things. Hallelujah. We got to want it. We got to hate it. I don't care what it is. You got to hate it. It's got to really bother you. It can't be a nonchalant rule about it. Oh, that's okay. I'll be all right. You're not going to get deliverance that way. We won't get deliverance that way. You got to hate it with a passion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Totally up. It says, for as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the old lamb. Luke 21 and 36. And here it is. It says, watch. It says, watch. Yes, what is it saying? It says, watch. It says, stay awake. We, we must always be awake. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. We must not fall asleep. Come on. It's a snare. Yeah, yeah. It says, watch. If you're watching, you're awake. On, you're vigilant. You're not slumped over, getting your little nap. We can't nap on y'all. Hallelujah. We can't not nap on y'all. As I talked earlier, soldiers. You think a soldier can nap? No. He can't nap. He's got to be about the business. He's got to be about the business 24-7. One little nap, and he's snared. Cost him his life. Cost him his nephesh. We must watch. We must stand vigilant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Totally up. It says, watch. You therefore. Yeah. And what did I say earlier? Come on. I'm stirring again. That's right. I'm stirring again. That's right. It says, pray. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It says, and pray. Always. We should always pray. Yeah. Always pray during the day. Your mind may leave and think about this for a little while. You should come back. Oh, help me, y'all. Oh, I'm wicked, y'all. Help me. I'm corrupt, y'all. I need you, y'all. Hallelujah. We should always pray. We should always pray. And that keeps you from being snared. Because you, you, you're in the watch mode. Hallelujah. You, your mind is on y'all. It keeps you. Hallelujah. You should always pray. Prayer and supplication. What else is there? What else is there that's going to strengthen you? Prayer and supplication. That's it. You should, we should always pray. Our mind should always be churning about the things of y'all. Help me, y'all. I'm wicked. I'm unjust. I'm a sad case. Oh, y'all, I need you. Help me, Abba. Help me, y'all. That's how we should be as a people, y'all. Always. That pleases y'all. He say, now, that's my jewel. That's my son there. I'll allow him to go through this. I'll allow her to be tried this way. Look at that. Look at it. She's praying. Go ahead, Satan. Go ahead, try. She's sincere. She's real. Go ahead, Satan. Try him. But you can't have his nephesh as Job. Try him. He, he's prayed up. He's ready. Go ahead. She's prayed up. Go ahead. Try. You can't get her. She's mine. She's my jewel. She's going to go in my crown. She's my people. They're my people. Hallelujah. They're my people. Try them, Satan. Go ahead. I know what's in their labs. I know what I put in them. Go ahead. I'm in control of this. Do what you will or may. You're only going to make them tougher. You're only going to make them draw near unto me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, devil. Try my people. Try my people. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Try my people. Go ahead. They're not going nowhere. They're going to stand. Go ahead, devil. I'm almighty y'all. Go ahead. I laugh at you. Go ahead. You can't get through. You can't get them, devil. Hallelujah. He tells them.
Try them. Hallelujah. It says, and pray always that you may be counted. Counted what? Worthy to escape. See, y'all's going to keep his people. He's going to allow us to be tried. Hallelujah. He's going to allow us to be tried. But if we pray it up, we won't be snared. He's going to allow us to be tried. It says, worthy to escape all things that shall come to pass. Because we prayed up. Y'all's with us. We're with him. We're striving to please him. Our minds are on him constantly. He's going to allow us to escape. We are going to be in him. He's going to have us covered. This is a small people. It's a small bag of little jewels that he, he set off to the side. It's only going to be a few. A few jewels that y'all is going to have set to the side. That's going to escape. Hallelujah. To come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man, Yahshua. If we do not follow these instructions, we will be snared by the wicked one. We will be snared if we don't follow these instructions. What instructions, Achimri? The instructions of this book. The instructions of, of this Torah. These commandments. Hallelujah. These commandments. And in my closing, this is my last verse. It says, I want to close with this verse. Let's see. It says, we the people, but Galatians 4, 9, it says, but now, after that you have known Yahweh, or rather known of Yah, do we hear that? It says, but after you have known Yahweh, or known of Yah. Mm -hmm. See, those over here, they, they knew of Yah. Yes. They didn't know Yah. That's all right. They didn't know him. That's because they went out from amongst us. Yes. So they never was of Yah. Yeah. So we want to know Yah, not know of him. Yeah. We want to know Yah. Yeah. How do you know someone? Mm -hmm. How do I know my ox and my coat? I spend time with him. Yeah, I know him because we're around each other. Mm -hmm. That's how you know someone. Yeah. That's how we're going to know Yah. Yeah. By what? By spending time with him. Yeah. See, they didn't know Yah. Yeah. This world doesn't know Yah. You have many Yahweh groups out there that know of Yah, yeah. but they don't know Yah. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's tons of them. Yeah. Tons of them. Yeah. They don't know Yah. They know of him. They use the name and all, but they don't know him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says, we'll read it again. But now after that you have known Yah, or rather have known of Yah, how turn you again to the weak and elementary elements of this old lamb? See, I'm stirring again. I talked about it earlier. They're not getting nothing out there. These preachers, they're not giving them nothing. It's elementary. It says, it says here, the elementary elements. Yes. They turn back for this yes. elementary stuff. Yes. They're not getting nothing out there. They can't find nothing. Oh, Hallelujah. They can go where they want. They're not going to find nothing. Yes. They're not going to find it. Because they put their hand to this plow. Yes. They go out there and they know more than, than the places that they're going. Because they've heard this truth. Right. Hallelujah. They've known of Yah, but they don't know yeah. him. Hallelujah. They've heard of the truth of Yah, but they don't know him. The elementary things of this world. The little baby stuff. As I said earlier, yeah. I'm stirring again. Our little veins no more yeah. than these grown-ups out here. You hear me? I know what I'm saying. I've talked with them. They know nothing. Hallelujah. The weak and element, ele elements of this world to which you desire again to be in bondage. Why would we turn our back on y'all? Why would we allow our minds to be snared? To turn our backs for nothing. Even if you haven't been out there, even if you haven't experienced the world, I'm here to tell you, you can see. You see the outcome of what's out there. 
the younger ones, even ones your age. You see how bad they look? That, that alone ought to let you know it's nothing out there. It's torment. You see their miseries. You see what they entangle with. Young men, young women. You look at them. Look how they carry themselves. Come on, that alone. That alone. So why should we even turn our backs on y'all for, for, for this mess out here? For what? What is that? So let us allow our minds to be in tune with the things of y'all. Hallelujah. To allow y'all to, to work and to deal and to do what he's doing. He knows what he's doing with, an, with all our lives. He, he's not going to leave us. He's not going to forsake us. Hallelujah. He made us. He knows exactly what he's doing. He knows. Believe me. Believe me. He wants us to be tried. He wants to show what's in us. That's right. I'm glad. Hallelujah. Yeah. And through every trial, you ought to learn something. You ought to grow. If you're keeping your minds upon Yah and just going through, we should know. We should be able to look back and say, man, I was sad when this thing first started. But Yah allows those things. He's in control. He's in control of everything. He's in control. We should learn from each trial. We should learn and look back and see how pitiful we were. See how sad we were. See how immature we was. Hallelujah. We should. Y'all's word is not going to go out and return void. His word is going to accomplish in us, if we allow it, what he intend for it to accomplish. Whether it's to cut us up. Whether it's to uplift us. Whether it's to drive us out. Hallelujah. Y'all knows what he's doing. He's in control. He made us could listen to y'all. Hallelujah. So let us, let us the people of y'all be encouraged. I pray the word of y'all. Be strengthened to your nephesh. I don't pray it. I don't pray it. Because if, if you have the nephesh to please y'all, then the word of y'all was a strength unto you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of y'all was a strength unto you. Hallelujah. But y'all brought you all. Was nothing can be added to that, Yisrael, line upon line, here a little, there a little, and I like how he used that expression, he just stirred, well, he stirred me up tonight, hallelujah, brought me to the surface, hallelujah, that I may see clearly what I need to do, Yisrael, that we not be cut out by the snares, hallelujah, of this life, Yisrael, Hallelujah. Let us be encouraged, Israel. So I brought Yahweh for that message and brought Yah for my ark tonight. Hallelujah. That message of strength and encouragement, Israel. Not to be snared. Hallelujah. Yahweh. Hallelujah. My, my heart's are lifted. I'm fat tonight. Hallelujah. I brought Yahweh for his Torah and his truth that he has placed in the lab of his men's servants. Hallelujah. Those that stand. This man has truly stand. Hallelujah. Let us stand to our feet, Israel. Let us leave on what they, like they will say, a high note tonight, Israel. Brought, brought Yahweh for what he has given us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, told you, Yah. Abba Yahweh, we told you for this midweek scripture, truth, Yahweh. You have brought us here tonight for a purpose, Israel. We told you that you have sent your Torah. You have filled us, Yahweh. You have given us the strength, Yahweh, to press on. Hallelujah, to see what... The end shall be Abba Yahweh. I ask that you will strengthen Yisrael, Yah. Those that are weak, Yah. Those that are hurting, Abba Yahweh. That you will strengthen them tonight, Yah. You said, let the weak say that they are strong. And let those, Yahweh, that are poor say that we possess. You have given us, Yahweh, your Torah, which is greater than any riches, Yahweh. Any ores on this old earth, Abba Yahweh. Because it come from you, Yahweh, from your throne, freely, Abba Yahweh. 
As to your American, we'll cap about those y'all that are listening, those that have came here, near and far, Abu Yahweh, you'll bring us to the appointed place, home, safely, Abu Yahweh, and that you give us on this night rest, as we rest on your Torah, Abu Yahweh, knowing that everything, everything is all right. And all things we do give you, Toda, we do praise you. In the mighty and precious name of Yahshua HaMashiach, we do cry out, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah, Yahweh, hallelujah. Yabarak Kol Yisrael, hallelujah.